So this is a 241 gigahertz update, having made a little bit of progress. The uh, transmitter, with a few bits piled in the top where I've been working on it, is uh, on the pedestal drill. as a convenient place to stand it, so it can look out through the door. That's its view out through the door up towards the house. Using the 134 GHz horn uh, just for convenience on the transmitter. So there's a view looking through the shed door. Now indoors, there's the door handle looking through the double glazing, shed down the garden, maybe 20 metres to 22 metres away. Receiver mixer block on the table and uh, a 20 dB flan horn. A coupler just so that I can make power measurements. Drive into the mixer is about 25 milliwatts. 38, well, 40 gigahertz uh, amplifier tripler there. And a DMC module for providing the uh, drive at 13 gigahertz and uh, three power supplies all told to um, to power the, the whole caboodle so at the moment we're looking through the double glazed door double glazed doors worth about 10 db at 134 gigs I think it's rather more of an attenuator at 241, but there's the uh, receive signal. Tone is not um, particularly uh, audible, if I can turn the frequency up and down. Or move. I'm so used to touch screens, I'm expecting it to work. Let's try a mouse instead. Hopefully that's coming through. Not awfully strong. So I've opened the door and now we're in biz, I think. There are rather a lot of um, carriers from somewhere on this HDSDR. Um, I'll have a look and see if I can see what the door is worth. So it's the signal there and it's uh, come up about 18 dB I think. So it's quite a lossy double glazed door. But then I guess the glass is probably at least the thickness of one wavelength. I've shut the door and you can see the signal has uh, disappeared into the noise. Open the door and there it is back again. So I recommend that you don't try tests through double glazed doors. As yet there's no back on the mixer, on the receiver. It's not actually, well yes it is a mixer I suppose. Uh, so there should be a couple of dB improvement in performance to be gained by putting the waveguide back on. So that's it really, how to amuse oneself on a wet afternoon.